Hi, today I'm not building anything, but I have this old 2012 MacBook Pro, which I mainly use for audio recordings. And it has a fan that always spins, but it's getting louder and louder. So I have decided to treat myself to the brand new MacBook Air with the Apple M1 processor. Make. Here it is. So the question that remains now is, how do I get my data from the old MacBook Pro onto the new MacBook Air? Let's find out. To use English as the main language, press the return key. First of all, the MacBook wants to know in which language it should talk to me. It also wants to go on the internet, probably to call home to tell its parents that it has been well received. I also have to sign the privacy policy, which I have of course read thoroughly. And then the migration assistant comes up, which is supposed to transfer my data. The Mac suggests that I plug it in. Okay, I'll do that. Now I somehow need to get the data out of my old MacBook Pro. I wouldn't know how to connect the two MacBooks directly to each other, so I first make a backup to an external SSD. Well, I will miss the MagSafe connector. For the backup I used Carbon Copy Cloner. It isn't cheap, but for this one use the free trial version will do. I choose the internal hard disk as the source and the external SSD as the destination. If the space on the external drive is limited, you should turn off the safety net. And then press Clone. Depending on the amount of data, this can now take long or very long. Now eject the disk from the old MacBook and connect it to the new one. For this I use an adapter from USB-C to USB-A. As soon as the MacBook has detected the external disk, you can select it and press continue. I used the opportunity to get rid of an old unused user account. For the remaining account I have to set a password now. And accept the license agreement, which of course I also have read thoroughly. Now there is plenty of time for a cup of coffee. But it won't take as long as the migration assistant originally calculated. In the final report the Mac tells me that my user account could not be created. In other words, everything was transferred except my data. But I have no choice but to click on continue. And lo and behold, I can log into my account. And that even works. Now I would be able to activate accessibility, allow analysis data to be sent to Apple, order information about my screen usage time and allow Apple to save my conversations with Siri. I do none of that. I don't activate file vault volume encryption either. I'm afraid I might lock myself out completely. But what I do is I teach Touch ID to recognize my fingerprint. And now I'm finally in. First I check if my mails are there. 
The mails themselves seem to be there, but the MacBook has difficulties to access the servers and asks for the mail password. This should be listed in the iCloud keychain, but there seems to be a problem with iCloud too. This is the beginning of an endless odyssey with what feels like a hundred attempts to enter my password, including several attempts to enter a confirmation code from the iPhone, which unfortunately is never displayed there. Only after a while I realized that the problem seems to be that the MacBook is constantly losing its Wi-Fi, even though there are several networks to choose from. Only after a long search I discover the problem. Apparently, with the transfer of my system settings, I have ended up in a situation that should not even exist. In sharing, the Mac is set to share its Wi-Fi via Wi-Fi. That can't work. And once that is deactivated, the authentication via iPhone works too. And lo and behold, the mail accounts also work. And everything is just like the old one. So, finally, after a lot of coffee, everything works now. There will be at least one other video about the MacBook Air with the M1 processor. But after that, I will build something as usual. So, see you.